Been getting a lot of questions about the new Stark 80 horsepower electric bike. Let me start off by saying, I just love to ride. This thing's got 80 horsepower. It's got more takeoff torque than I could even handle and I shouldn't have put it at 80 horsepower and you got little options and it even has disclaimer when you go over 60, but I've only ridden at 80s. It's fun, it's pretty cool. I just love to ride. I love two strokes, always been a two stroke fan. I didn't even move up to the four strokes, uh, but mostly I didn't go to four strokes because I like riding woods and trails. I liked riding things that the four strokes at the beginning would overheat and before electric starts, I was kicking and kicking and kicking and I just gave up. I was like, these call them thumpers because I'm just oh, dumping kicking the whole time. So now, obviously, four strokes are great. They're fine. I'm still partial to two strokes. I had an opportunity. Jay Archer wanted to try just doing triple backflips as well as Josh Sheehan on a bike with more horsepower. And Ken Roxon got on. He goes, man, when you give it gas, it rips your feet off of the foot pegs. And Archer and Sheehan were like, well, this is going to help double flip variation. It's going to help everything. So I went two days ago to Mid-America, and we had this huge jump, a double backflip on the KTM 300 was very, very difficult to get around. And I got on the start and I pinned it up to take off and my feet blew off and I grabbed back on and I gave it gas again and my feet blew off again and I grabbed back on. And I was like, holy crap, I'm halfway done this jump and I've already finished two rotations. So this torque is gonna open up a whole new can of worms, if you will, for freestyle, which is honestly a really scary thing because it has so much power and like how fast do we really wanna go. But as someone that's always asked for more power and tried to go faster, like it's, it's pretty cool. It's a great experience. So I'm not sold on electric or everyone's like, oh, well, you know, you charge it with a generator. I'm like, yeah, I don't really care what you charge it for. Like, I think it's great and, you know, being green and going forward, that, that's all fine. I'm here for the horsepower. That's what we do at Nitro Cross. We want the most powerful cars. Everyone says, well, why do you run the Nitro Cross cars? I'm like, because it's either sit at home and complain about where the future's going or go out and have fun and drive the most powerful vehicles on the face of the earth. So that's what we're here. J.O. Archer got a Stark and they had a demo that I'm not sure exactly where it was going, but it showed up. I didn't even adjust the handlebars. It's all stock. We put an RG3 suspension sticker on there because Rob's awesome. Literally is straight out of the box. Great components. I mean, hell, you even got a, a kickstand. So pretty excited about getting a chance to ride this Stark and excited to ride it more, to be honest. So if you're looking into getting one, you can adjust this however you want. It is a whole shot machine. It is a corner machine. I've never in my life almost ended up and almost looped out on the same jump. You give it gas, it's like a snowmobile. It just pulls that front end up. Like I pulled off three times in practice to just try different things. More horsepower, less horsepower, more engine braking, less engine braking. And you can dial this thing in so well for whatever condition you are. And heck, I could put my 10 year old Addy on this. I mean, if you took the, the power down a little bit, she would do better on this than she would on a 125 two stroke. And for someone with bad knees like myself and bad back and someone just doesn't like to stand up and get down and try to get your feet to the shift lever and everything, I can sit on this bike going through the corner and I can come in as slow as I want. And it's like a jet ski. If it falls over, you give it more gas, it stands right back up. You always have power. If I was a little bit smoother with the throttle, I think it would be like even 10 times better because you could set all the way up on the regeneration. So you wouldn't even have to use the brakes. It just kind of like slows everything down for you. And then you just crack it just an inkling and you know, you can freewheel through everything. So as far as rideability, this is a bike that can really be a fun, easy bike for everybody. And even set all the way up, everyone's like, oh, you got to recharge it all. Oh, I'm like, shoot, I just did a moto out there and we're still at you know 75%. As far as me being pretty old and not riding a lot of laps, I could do a whole, a whole day session without a charge. As easy as this is to ride, there are some things you gotta get used to. Like when you bring it up to the sand, you go to put it in neutral and there, there's nothing there. You know, you go to take off and you go to hit, pull the clutch in. Or I actually almost took out our camera guy, Six. Hi, Six. How do I go? Oh, Jesus Christ. It's on. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm just making sure to check. I remember the first time I rode a motorcycle. I didn't know it was on and I gave it gas. It just, <laughs> there are some things you're gonna have to get used to, but all in all, it's fairly maintenance free. It's pretty easy to ride, comes with all good specs. What do you think, Hubert? And you can take calls whenever you need to. Woo! <laughs> Does it, it's actually like a. Yeah, it's a phone. Wow, you think I would know that by now, but yeah, so actually, if you crash real hard and you break your back and you're by yourself, 
Call 911 on this thing. Or you can watch videos on how to get <laughs> Siri! <your shot. laughs> Dial 911! Yeah, we're going to pull a YouTube for the next moto how to get a whole shot. Yeah. You can watch it. Just, just watch that from the gate drop. <laughs> I think it's going to be a bike that you can run in all places. So many tracks get shut down. I know when four strokes came out, even though they seem not too much louder than two strokes, the sound traveled so much more that we had so many more complaints and so many tracks are getting shut down, even with the two strokes. And as the cities kind of move out towards the tracks, I believe that these are gonna help more tracks be able to go up more places, which is gonna help people ride more, which is gonna help our industry, which is gonna help, you know, for everyone that like don't sell out. Well, if you wanna be able to ride a motorcycle on a weekend, you wanna be able to ride it for a living, we need, these electric bikes to be coming in so we can race in more places and more people can have more fun. So I'm a two stroke through and through. I like the way they sound, I like the way they smell, and I like shifting and clutching and messing up. And I think that's kind of the fun of, of moto, but this thing will open up so many doorways to being able to ride places you'd never be able to ride before. Hopefully more tracks will open up. Hopefully this is gonna really build motorcycles and motocross and give it away as we're going forward with you know, everything that you know, the world's trying to do now with going green, that I don't know that we're there yet as far as all the vehicles, but as far as something that was really cool and an amazing experience and something that I'm really looking forward to working with a little bit more, especially in freestyle and rotations, the Stark, it's everything it's cracked up to be plus some for me. Son, I love thrills like a middle school crush. If I can't die, there ain't no adrenaline rush. Watch me fly by through the sky on my dirt bike, repping 199, cause I'm coming in clutch. Seem like 99, I be here, couple big nuts. Seem like since then, every year, couple big cups, couple big breaks, couple falls, couple big.